A starter Synology NAS is an ideal entry point for network storage without the complexities of advanced systems. Tailored for home users and small businesses, these devices provide reliable data storage, automatic backups, and easy file sharing through a user-friendly interface. In this video, we review the top five starter Synology NAS options for 2025. Find more product links in the description below. Let's begin. Number five, Synology Disk Station DS923 Plus. The Disk Station DS923 Plus is the follow-up to arguably the most popular NAS model in Synology's lineup, the DS920 Plus. With some notable changes on the inside, Synology has put this new mid-tier model right up against its premium options. The DS923 Plus comes with the same Ryzen R1600 processor as many of its pricier siblings. While the AMD chip is more powerful, it now lets you add up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, making the DS923 Plus a perfect NAS for small businesses and home offices. Much like the DS1522 Plus, you can use the included PCIe slot on the DS923 Plus to add a 10 gigabit Ethernet network card to make full use of the NAS's capabilities. With the right setup, the company claims the NAS can read and write data at over 500 megabytes per second. A big change that Synology introduced with the DS923 Plus is that you can now use your NVMe drives as storage instead of just caching, which can help speed up your data transfers significantly. These changes alone make it a worthy upgrade over the outgoing DS920 Plus. Number 4. Synology Disk Station DS723 Plus for individual professionals and freelancers working from home, a NAS enclosure's horsepower tends to be more crucial than its storage capacity. If you fall in that category, the new DS723 Plus is the right Synology NAS. This new model gets you the brains of the pricier DS1522 Plus, but with a compact design of the DS220 Plus, all at an affordable price. In addition, the 2-bay DS723 Plus comes powered by the dual-core Ryzen 1600, making it one of the best-performing NAS units in its price bracket. However, the switch to a Ryzen chip may not go down well with those looking to run a Plex server on their DS723 Plus. Due to no integrated GPU, you must ensure that your media files are in a format your client devices support so that the CPU isn't overburdened with media transcoding while streaming content. Synology has included SATA and PCIe slots for attaching accessories or Synology's expansion unit for a total of seven drive bays. You can further boost the NAS's performance by adding two NVMe drives dedicated to caching, but its two gigabytes of RAM remains a sore point. You can expand the RAM up to 32 gigabytes, but you'll have to spend extra on it. Number three, Synology Disk Station DS224 Plus. The Synology Disk Station DS224 Plus looks very similar to the outgoing DS220 Plus, but that doesn't mean there's nothing new on the inside. The new model comes with a crucial upgrade in the form of its processor. The DS224 Plus uses a quad-core Intel Celeron processor that Synology previously used on its DS920 Plus, perhaps Synology's most sought-after NAS model of all time. While this processor may not be the newest one around, it brings some notable improvements to this budget NAS over its predecessor. We had no issues transcoding and streaming 4K videos on the DS224 Plus with Plex, which isn't surprising since the DS920 Plus was often hailed for its media capabilities. We were able to run multiple streams of 4K videos simultaneously and the DS224 Plus didn't break a sweat. 
Our testing also confirmed that the transfer speeds can hit 210 megabytes per second easily, which is more than enough for most home users and even some office tasks. It's two gigabytes of standard RAM could be an issue if you do a lot of multitasking, but most users should be able to get away with the base package without having to worry about the RAM. However, if you need it, you can expand the RAM to six gigabytes by slotting in a four gigabyte stick. Number two, Synology Disk Station DS1621 Plus. If the DS1522 Plus doesn't cut it for you, you can go for the Synology Disk Station DS1621 Plus, which is beefier in nearly all areas. Starting with the available storage space, the DS1621 Plus lets you add six hard drives before you need to buy an expansion unit to store more data. This is a big deal for small businesses with massive data needs, giving them some extra headroom to work with in the long run. Speaking of businesses, the DS1621 Plus is designed for workplace users instead of home users, which is why an AMD processor makes more sense on this end as enclosure. The quad-core Ryzen chip offers a far superior raw performance over the Intel Celeron range, usually found on retail NAS boxes. It's very well suited for heavy lifting from running virtual machines and server class apps to supporting tens of users accessing the files simultaneously. With the DS1621 Plus, you get a PCIe slot to add a bunch of compatible accessories to the NAS, including a 10 gigabit Ether Internet LAN port. However, the base model of this NAS enclosure starts with only four gigabytes of RAM, so you will have to increase the RAM from the get-go. Alternatively, you can go for the upgraded DS1621XS Plus model, which gets you an even beefier Intel Xeon processor, a built-in 10 gigabit Ethernet port, and eight gigabytes of base RAM. Number one, Synology Disk Station DS1522 Plus. The Disk Station DS1522 Plus tries to bridge the gap between the outgoing DS920 Plus and the uber expensive DS1621 Plus. You get four one gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, enabling link aggregation or wired connection with a bunch of computers in your office. The best part is that the NAS comes with a proprietary slot where you can add a 10 gigabit Ethernet network port as a separate purchase, keeping the cost low for those who don't need a faster port, while still giving power users an upgrade option. Compared to its direct predecessor, the DS1522 Plus gets a bump to a more powerful dual-core AMD processor, which is made for taxing business environments. And with eight gigabytes of standard RAM, upgradable to a whopping 32 gigabytes, you can run virtual machines and server apps all you want. But without a GPU, don't expect it to transcode your videos on the fly. Although streaming already transcoded media shouldn't be an issue. That's it for today's video, guys. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos.